Okay guys, uh, finally get another chance to do one of these without having to do a voiceover. It's about 6.30 in the evening. Uh, daylight outside for once, as you can see. Anyway, um, Saturday. Um, today we're going to be loading up a uh, tactical style quad buck load, 38 caliber buckshot. Um, we're using, uh, I haven't really seen anyone do tactical style quad buck loads. Um, they're all most for the most part heavy payloads in 10 or 12 gauge um, three inch or three and a half inch shells I do load two and three quarter um, eight pellet loads but that's still an ounce and a half and uh, these are just gonna be six pellet ounce and an eighth a little bit less than an ounce and a half eighth loads um, um, that's why I call them tactical style and we're not gonna be using any special kind of wad or even buffer in this load we're just using the Clay Buster CB1118-12 uh, 12, 12 gauge target wad. Um, this wad is for your uh, tapered style shells like the Winchester uh, AA's or Remington STS, your gun clubs, you know, stuff like that, the Nitro Golds. But uh, that's all right. This is a straight wall haul, but all we'll need to get around that is just a pair of pliers. I'll show you that when we get to it. All right. We're going to start by depriming and resizing the hole. This is a uh, Remington Long Range Express number four. Uh, this is probably ounce and a quarter at 1330 FPS. My cats are making a bunch of noise back there. But anyway, this actually has an eight point crimp. I'm not sure when they stopped loading or even if they did stop loading. I haven't seen them personally in years. Um, the eight point crimp version of these shells, all the modern ones are they're uh, all six point, but this one's eight. Not that it really matters. We're gonna be uh, going back with a Winchester W209 primer. And just like that, Winchester 209. Oh, speaking of primers, check out what I've managed to uh, find lately. Local sporting, sporting goods store, um, Federal 209As. I actually have about 200 of these already that I completely forgot I, ha forgot I had. Um, you might have uh, heard me say in the 10-gauge uh, quad buck 16 pellet load I did last week that um, I didn't have any 209A or Magnum primers on hand, but I did. I just completely forgot all about it. But anyway, we got some more, 200 of them. That's all they'd let me have. But, uh... That's all right. I don't use these like I do my other primers, like you know, my, my Shadots and stuff, the Winchesters. I only use these for um, super heavy loads with stuff like Alliance Steel or Blue Dot. And I don't load a lot of that stuff, just occasionally and most of it's for test loads. But anyway, I also managed to find some Federal 209, or not 209s, these are large pistol primers. Um, I don't use these for pistols, these Magtech brass, this is a 32 gauge, the Magtech brass shot shells, they take a uh, large pistol primer. But what I was doing was converting them, convert, convert um, excuse me, converting them to take 209s. But it takes a little while to do that. It's pretty easy. It just takes a little while. Uh, excuse my speech today. I've had two energy drinks in the uh, four or five hours I've been awake on top of two Mountain Dew Frostbite, so... A lot of caffeine today. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Powder we're going to be used to, using today is Winchester AA Super Handicap. This is my favorite standard weight, um, standard speed 12 gauge powder. Also used in 20 and 16 gauge. Going to be using 22 grains of it. This is going to get me about uh, close to 1300 FPS, not quite, maybe 1285. But uh, straight wall hull, more room for the powder, a little bit lower pressure compared to your tapered hull loads. Max load for this is uh, 23 grains in a tapered shell, so 22 grains is fine in a straight wall. Now, what I'm doing here 
as someone in the uh, reloading group on Facebook, Buck and Slug Reloaders, if you want to check that out, if you ain't already there, called this Rick flaring out the gas seal. Flaring it out to make it fit better in the uh, straight wall hall. Should look something like this. See the uh, skirt shape on it? Just wanted to flare it out. You just want to flare it out a little bit. And cut the pedals off because you cannot stack the uh, big quad buck pellets in a shot cup. You can in the 10 gauge. If you're using the uh, Remington SP10 or Ballistic Products PT 1044 wads, they will stack by twos in the those kind of wads for 10 gauge. Or you can stack them by threes conventionally loaded. But anyway... Get this wad in here. I may have flared it out too much. That's okay. We'll just have an extra tight seal. Gonna use the press to seat it. Sixteenth right. inch fiber wad. Six pellets of quad buck, minor powder coated. That's a good looking pre crimp. You can see those pellets in there. There might be a slight little dimple, but it's not going to hang up a gun. Not enough for that. Crimp's starting to wear out on me, too. Oh well. I got a bunch of these. Doing one more in a clear hole, just so you can guys see what it looks like. Brand new prime Fioki. We're going with the exact same data. Pedals off. And flaring out the gas seal. Good tight fit. Sixteenth inch fiber wood. Six pellets of quad buck. Looks really nice. These pellets carry a lot of energy, a long way too. But uh, I guess that wraps this one up officially this time. 
see you guys in the next one.